remains a long run. Kiabu County, with its estimated population of 2.5 million, requires at least uh, 2,500 doctors to meet the doctor to population ratio of 1 to 1,000, which is a recommendation of WHO, that is World Health Organization. Currently, Kiabu has a doctor to population ratio of 1 to 8,000 doctors, uh, eight, 1 to 8,000 persons, meaning that one doctor does the work of eight other doctors. This burden further exacerbates uh, by additional health facility constructed under the initiatives of Dr. Kemanu Matangi and other governors that have been there before, a move that no doubt benefit the thousands of Kiambu residents if requisite numbers of doctors are employed. Well, we understand that there are budget, uh, budget implications to hiring more doctors. To entertain the alternative is self-defeatist and is against Article 43A of the Constitution of Kenya, which is to praise that every person has a right to the highest attainable standard of health. Uh, the hesitancy to employ the recommended number of doctors, the consequence heavy workload and torturous working hours have resulted to avoidable death of six doctors in Kiambu County. These deaths have, attributed, have been attributed to stress-related disorders. Other doctors have turned to deadly temporary relief of drugs and substance abuse. As you are aware, getting annual and sick leaves for the doctors of Kiambu has been at all order. This is due to the acute shortage of doctors. Doctors gratuity in arrears from 2016 has not been paid and uh, the, these are doctors who were on contract before and later they were turned to uh, uh, permanent pensionable. In addition, professional indemnity is not existing. Well, we may want to understand of the <coughs> sometimes precarious financial positions both by the national government and county governments, we have to find a middle ground to avert the imminent breakdown of the health <coughs> care system and irreversible loss of lives. We are saying that we have already crossed the Rubicon and for that reason, you don't expect us to go back. There's no boat to take us back. The only thing that will make us uh, seed our ground is only if the, items, the 19 items that took us on strike are obeyed, they are honored. We have been in negotiation with government. This is a government that we wrote the CBA with, but now it is proving not to be able to honor any of their promises. And yet, the doctors live on promises. If a doctor promises to do something, he does. We, li we believe in truth, and uh, when the government is not truthful, then uh, we have no alternative that way than to make it truthful. Whatever, whatever the governor did is not very different from what the other governors are doing. And it's not very different from what you're expecting. Every strike comes with that. A strike has some steps, and this is only one of the steps. We are expecting, them, we, we are expecting from next week that they are going to issue show cause letters. Then thereafter, they will, write, they will give dismissal letters. Then thereafter, they will have no other weapon but to wait until when we do a return to work formula, which will notify all the other things that we have issued before. And that is issue with all strikes worldwide. So whatever they are doing is not abnormal.
So you will start by reading the statement. Yes, I want to read the statement. Yeah. Read them. Then positive. Okay, so I see it.